Patrick. First of all, I want to thank you on my behalf, on behalf of the TVC Facebook group and the whole TVC community. That was an amazing, oh. amazing panel. Thank you. I've attended yeah. several panels, Star Wars panels, Marvel Legends panels in the last few years, and this was by far the, the best one. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. you. Thank That's you. So it kind. was, it thank was you so really, much. really, really amazing. I know you. You have to tell us what your favorite part of the panel was. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, probably the the Java's Denison's four pack. Yes, okay, that one's amazing. Of course, the Haslab, yeah. but you didn't say much. Is there anything you can say? I, I mean, nothing, nothing material. But uh, are you going to announce announce more things there soon? Will, well, there will be more news in the future. Okay, May the fourth. We're 4th. not going to say when there will be news. May the fourth is SDCC. We, we okay. will see. Those okay. are two big beats throughout the year. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's fair, fair enough. Now go, going back to the to the four pack, yes. the Denison's amazing pack. That was a labor yeah. of love by Emily. Uh, so yeah. amazing pack. We are glad that you've listened. As usual, I have to say, uh, we are glad that our petition worked. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about the design process for the new debut characters? I mean, in terms of, of parts that might be reused in the future for another debut characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we tried to be smart about those. I mean, Emily always is. She's a she's brilliant mind on that stuff. Like what parts are in things. She works with our sculpting team and trying to plan for future stuff. So it's not that we're gonna do anything specifically with them, but we're trying to open up opportunities for future reuse. Okay. Um, we we don't have any plans to announce or anything okay. for stuff, but we're always trying to think that way so that we're not limiting possibilities in the future. All right. Sounds and, good. And and those those characters in there, as you guys well know, those are. Those are characters that don't have a lot of screen time and there's not a lot of reference for them. So the True. team really dug deep and did a lot of research to, to find out specific details and, and characters to put under those helmets. So yeah, that, full kudos to Emily and the team on that and okay. our partners at Lucasfilm. All right, it, yeah, sounds good. Really yeah, there, are, there are more characters in the scene that we need. I'm not <laughs> complaining, I'm just, <laughs> just stating something. Okay. Now going back to the Haslab, just one thing I wanna say. Yep. Of course, we are very, very happy and excited about it. We are ready for the next one. Okay. Beyond that, because yeah. as you know, we always want more. So let's start thinking about the next one, please. We, we, we are thinking about the next one and the next one beyond that. Well, and that's that's. We are thinking about them. We know about right. the passion from the community. We're excited for this news. one, and then you know, excited for the future. Yeah, this one is gonna... we get we get confused on which year we're talking about at work sometimes. Okay, so, well, that's that's yeah. music, music to my ears. Thank you. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go to the March Madness bracket, yep. you now hosted by our colleagues and friends in, uh, in Instagram. Yep. Uh -huh. um, episode Think you four. can check off a few figures from today. <laughs> yeah, no, but my my, my, my comment book slash question was that you know episode four, Leia, Han, Luke, Ben Kenobi, they, I mean, ended in the no, top five overall. We follow the bracket. Yeah, uh, correct. I know you cannot comment on the future, but I mean. What do you think about those rankings? I mean, about those episode four figures rankings so high? We're excited by the rankings and which characters showed up in there. I'll, I'll tell you that. Okay. So, yeah, so we, we're, but, we're aware I mean, of the passion for Make the Mains. Uh, we know about that yeah. campaign as well. Um, it, you know, I think we said it in response to one of the questions, and it's true. Like, it, it's a it's a golden era of Star Wars entertainment, right? Like, yeah. you know, Too many and I personally have loved exactly. it, but like, we've had more Star Wars entertainment in the last year and a half than you know, any five year period before that. So yeah. there's just a lot to focus on. So we're balancing all of that out, but we are 100% aware of the passion for the original trilogy figures. We've said in the past, we are dedicated to peppering those in. Um, I don't think you're gonna see us do all four of those characters in a single year, but we're aware of the passion for those four specifically. And you will continue to see us peppering original trilogy characters in. Uh, for many yeah. years in the future. Okay. And this this year, I mean, you saw us do some Return of the Jedi stuff. Yep. So, and yeah, I mean, there's an example of how we're continuing to, to okay. chase that. So. Your, your comment seems to rule out the dream packs. Please don't rule them out. Oh, uh, we're Sorry, not. Rule out what? We don't want to rule out anything. Okay. No. Okay. The dream packs, you know, for the, the Haslab, we have. Oh, yeah, requesting. no. We're, we are 100% committed to the idea that Haslab doesn't mean big, it means okay. dream. Uh, that can take a lot of different forms, and we've right. explored it in a lot of different ways. Other brands have as well, and so yeah. we are we're thinking open-mindedly about what Haslab can be. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, now, going, I'm going to talk about the the TVC cards. Okay. Yeah. Uh, particularly, um, 
about the Hildebrand logo, well, uh, there is no episode four figure here, but um, uh, oh there? no, right yeah, there. maybe the yeah. the, the yeah, Boba Fett, Fett there, trooper. yeah, and here. Yeah. Can we move the warning label off of the logo? <laughs> this, I know you did it for VC 199, the Tusken Raider. You put it uh, like at the bottom of the right. of the card back. So fair enough. I'll, you know, because it, we'll I mean the, the logo, the, team. the yeah, logo is really really nice, and, and it's like you know you have the warning label. Yep. Yeah. On top of it. No, like, totally fair. Would you rather have it over the film up? Uh, no, but you can. I mean, in the for VC 199, you put it uh, I think on top of the race truck. Yeah. Be, oh, okay. At the bottom yeah. of the of the. So it'd go a little over the film. Up, yeah, so a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's good feedback. We'll bring yeah, because back. the logo is really nice. Yeah. It's a very iconic logo. Um, well, that's the kind of feedback we love from you guys. Yeah. Is even little things like that. It's fun. Yeah. I mean, those are I some mean, of the most it. important things. And yeah. you also did it. I mean, constantly for. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating a fact for Black Series. In Black Series, you don't you don't cover the logo well, with the Well, those cards are a lot bigger. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. More more real estate yeah, there. We've got more but, options. Uh, yeah. That's that's just a fact. Yeah. Good feedback. Um, talking about that, and again, I'm complaining maybe. Yeah. Uh, a few years ago, you released the Wampa in for TV for the Black Series yeah. in a vintage packaging, and now the Java the Hut with Salacious Scrum in vintage packaging. Please don't forget TVC. Absolutely. We need a Wampa, we need a Java, uh, and we love that kind of package. I appreciate that feedback yeah. as well. Yeah, no, we, we've said, I, I think we've said in other conversations today, and, and we understand it, you know, when we show something in Black Series that's not in Vintage, Vintage fans want it reasonably. When okay. we show something in Vintage that's, that's not in Black Series, yeah, like we, we still hear about Black Series uh, X-Wings, like why have we never had the iconic X-Wing? So we totally understand, but again, we appreciate the feedback. This is one of the reasons we love okay. coming to these shows is to, to hear live what people are looking for. So thank you. Okay. No, no, thank you. Now um, I'm going to go to pre-orders. Yeah. There are three figures that are not available to pre-order individually. That's um, my yep. recollection is correct. Endor, Bunker, Han, um, Wigway, and Dead Star 2, These Darth Vader. These are all our live stream in February. Uh, yeah, but yep. we are not allowed, na as of now, to order or pre-order them individually. We need to buy the, the whole uh, yep. case. But other recent reveals are available for pre-orders individually. Yep. I mean, what's what's the reason behind yeah. that? I mean, how how does that work? Yep. So we're we've said in the past like we're we're continually trying to improve the experience for fans. We know things aren't perfect right now, and we know when we try to improve them, it's not always the right fit. Uh, we had heard that there was a buildup of pre-orders that we were pre-ordering a lot. It was very far out. True. We also knew that that live stream. I think it was in late January or right at the beginning of February. It was right after the holidays, right after our Bring Home the Galaxy campaign. Uh, there was a lot of pre-orders built up, and so we tried to give a break and kind of have a live stream without any pre-orders. Uh, we heard some feedback to that. It wasn't entirely positive, so we're going to pivot and try some other things. Okay. But those figures aren't going to go on pre-order. Uh, they're going to go on sale, kind of when they normally go on sale, and, and that'll be the plan for those. Okay, sounds good. Um, quick question about uh, Grogu, the one that comes with the, the M1. Okay. It's, it's really not carded, but will it come inside the cockpit or loose in a bag inside it, it the comes, box? It comes in a little paper bag inside. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, he's sealed up on his own, so okay. he's nice to say. Okay, yeah. that's perfect. Yeah, no. all the little parts of the N1 are, it, are by the in, way, it looks, in, they're it looks individually amazing. packed it little looks... things in a little carton. The, oh, okay, okay, the okay, packaging okay. team did it. Okay, all right. it, it looks great. amazing. Yeah. The whole thing looks it's it's all that, great. Um, question of, again about cards, yeah. alternate cards. You know, some main characters can be released and even re-released in different cards. Right. And like Farmboy Loop, you have three different, I mean, going back to the 096. Yeah. Is that something that you are keeping in mind? I mean, as a way to, you know, re release, again, as an example, Farmboy Loop in one uh, expression and then another yeah, one and then we, another yeah, one. Yeah, we look at that and we try and, if we're trying to do something unique, we release a figure that that we're trying to make special in some way. Like, that's a, that's a fun way to do that. Okay. I don't think we've done it yet, though, we, right? No, I don't think so, but I think it's something we look at. I mean, when we're talking about card backs, and I, I know some of the, the stuff we've done, we've looked at, well, there's, in the past, looking to Kenner, there was an alternate card back for that figure. Do we do that card back or do we do that card back kind of thing? So. All of them. And I think we, we've heard more <laughs> and more of that here at this show. Um, yeah. So again, that's great feedback that we're taking, and we'll discuss it, and it's an option for the future, for sure. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Uh, I believe this is the last 
question from me. Yep, it's um, it's in Krennic, in pipeline. That's uh -huh. great. That's awesome. But that begs the question: What about base, <laughs> base and, and body? body. Yep. Yep. Uh, those are not off the table. That's all I wanna. Know. Not off no, the well, table. I mean, we, not at all. We saw Krennic's showing up, so yeah, nothing. Okay. Because again, table, that's yeah. that's. I mean, Rogue One is one of those. Yep. Yeah, I've awesome. seen this group of characters that we yeah. to complete. I've been a proponent for those. They're, you know, they weren't in pipeline reveals, they weren't in product reveals, but they're not off the table. Okay. So we're right. we're aware of the strong passion for Rogue One. And again, yeah, which is being fueled yeah. by yeah. by Andor and yeah. all the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah of so course. yeah, yeah, it's been like yeah. yeah. Totally. We know that crew is unfinished. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. It was a pleasure, and thank you for for you and your readers and followers and listeners for for being such great fans. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, she's good. Ooh.